Hi everyone, welcome back to One Touch BI. My name is Saranan Vajravel, and in today's session, I'm going to show you how to configure audit database for your IBM Cognos 11 setup. Let's quickly jump into my system to see the practical demo. Launch SQL Developer or any other equivalent database related tool where you can query and create a new user for your audit database. And the statement for creating the audit database, create user username identified by password. The username I'm going to keep it for my audit database or I would say the schema dedicated for audit DB is audit 1701 underscore 1116. 1116 denotes my Cognos version and identified by password. Password is Cognos. Run the statement. The user audit 1701 underscore 1116 is created successfully. The second step we need to grant DBA privilege. Grant DBA to the schema name or username. Now you run the statement by selecting this and control enter for Oracle SQL developer. The grant is succeeded. This confirms you have granted the DBA privilege for Cognos to create the tables at runtime when you configure the IBM Cognos configuration. So now we have done the prerequisite step that is required at the database level that you need to create the audit database schema and you need to grant the DBA privilege. Let's switch over to Cognos configuration and provide this information. Open IBM Cognos configuration. Locate the logging under the environment root. Logging is the one which will be used for your audit logging purpose. By default, the logging entries are captured in the file format. Now we are going to create a dedicated DB, the one which we created in the previous session, that audit1701 underscore 1116, that particular schema will be using it for logging all our audit information. Right click on logging, choose new resource, click on destination, and provide the name for your audit DB. So this can be a user friendly name. I will call it as audit 1116. And choose the type as database. Click OK. Now you right click on the newly created audit database and choose the database. And now you can choose the database type. The user schema which I created for audit is on the Oracle database. Choose Oracle database and provide the name. This can be any name. I will provide audit underscore warre underscore 1116. Click OK. We are done. Now you need to update the database server and the port number. In my case, the database server is this and the port number is 1521 the default and provide the username and password the one we created now that is what is the username the username is auDIT1701 underscore 1116 and the password I provided is Cognos Reconfirm the password by typing Cognos and click OK. Provide the service name. We have done the required step. Now you can right click and do a test. If all information you provided is correct, you will not get the error message. It should pass. Yes, it is successful. All we need to do now is just restart the IBM Cognos configuration for creating all the required the prerequisite tables for your audit database to capture the logging traces. Like what time you logged in to the IBM Cognos connection, what time you logged out, 
what reports you ran, what are the scheduled reports or running in the backend, what are the statuses of the scheduled reports, any error has been triggered, everything will be captured in the audit file. I mean in this case, we have configured to audit database, everything will be written inside the audit database. Good. Okay, let's restart the IBM Cognos service. Now since you made some changes, it prompts you to save the changes. Yes. After it saves, it has a sequence of steps to apply before it starts the IBM Cognos service. As you scroll down and see, finally the service will be started. Click on the details to see the status where exactly it is right now. As the testing mail server connection is optional, since we are not configured the mail server, you will get a warning. You can just click continue to proceed. During this process, it will be creating all the audit related tables for capturing the logging traces. Let's quickly check in the database is that created or it is in progress. As you see, I have created the database named audit 1701 underscore 1116. I expanded in the left side explorer under the new database what I created. I can see the tables got created by IBM Cognos. During this step, we just created a blank DB with the audit 1701 and 1116 and that time no sub tables, the child tables are not created. Now you see the tables got created. That's because the IBM Cognos does all this job at the first time when you restart the IBM Cognos service. If audit database is not configured. Let's switch back and see that IBM Cognos service is completely started or not. As you see now, the IBM Cognos service is completely restarted successfully. Now you can close this window. Open your Chrome browser to launch IBM Cognos connection. Provide your IBM Cognos URL. Provide your user credentials. Click on manage, go to administration console, click on system under the status tab. Right next to system, click on the drop down set properties. Go to settings. Under the category, you choose logging. Make sure all logging traces are changed from minimal to basic. That is the very basic setup you need to do for capturing the audit log traces to the database, the one what we configured now. Let's change the value from minimal to basic as said. It's a one time change you have to do for the first time for enabling the audit log setup. As you see in my screen, I have changed all the logging from default minimal to basic. Over and above, if you want any additional information like generate comments in native SQL, if you want to capture the SQL, what it generates in the backend and that should be traced in the database, you can choose that checkbox. If not required, you can keep it optional, but if you want, you can choose it. With that, now you can click on OK. That's all the steps required for enabling audit database for IBM Cognos 1116. Until I come back with another video, it is Sarunan Vajravel signing off from OneTouch BI. Have a good day.